Praise the Lord, our viewers. Welcome to Liz Refuge TV and Happy New Year 2021. Uh, my name is Liz Kagwanja. I'm saved. I love the Lord Jesus Christ as my personal savior. I am a lecturer by profession. I am also a teacher of the Word of God and a counselor. I'm also a musician. And I do all this to the glory and honor of God's holy name. Uh, welcome again to this new year. We are alive and well by the grace of God. Uh, in this Refuge TV, we offer teachings of the Word of God. We also do counseling. We offer songs of praise and uh, motivational talks. And in addition to that, we deal with issues that affect humanity on daily basis. And so we team up with uh, other counselors who are trained in different areas. And so if you have any issue concerning what I've just mentioned, uh, you can always contact us through our numbers that are on the screen. And so today, we have a new year message of hope. It's a message of hope. Because we are saying this, many people have suffered last year, 2020. Many people have even lost their lives. But you and me, we are alive and well by the grace of God. We are here in 2021, and so we are asking ourselves, what next? What next now that we are here? What should we do? What should we do now that we are here? What is expected of us? And so I want to take you to the word of God because as I keep on saying, the word of God is the answer to all our problems. Uh, Philippians 3, 13 to 14 says, Brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it. What is this that Paul is saying he has not taken hold of it? It is what we were called for. You and I, we, are, we were called by our names and we were written in the book of life. All right? If you have not heard the voice of God calling you, you will hear it before you leave this world you will have heard the voice of God calling you by your name. Because the Bible says, it is not the will of God that you leave this world when you are still a sinner. So Paul is saying that I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it. But one thing I do, Forgetting what is behind and straining towards what is ahead. I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me. Heavenwards in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah, my viewer. Paul is saying that he has not received what he has been called for. But he is saying that there is one thing he has done. All right? And that is what we are expected to do this new year. 
replace those who left you. God will give you new friends who will love you for whom you are. God will give you new friends who will love you for whom you are. God will give you new friends who will love you the way you deserve. Yeah? So stop mourning for those who left. Yeah? Stop mourning. And believe in God that is going to give you new friends. God will give you new friends who will respect you. God will give you new friends who will be there for you. Yeah? Will give you new friends who will be there for you whenever you need them. God will give you new friends who will put your needs first before anything else. You may have spent your life in tears because of the friends you had. Unreliable friends, disrespectful friends, uncaring friends, friends who are very mean, very mean to you in terms of maybe even money, in terms of time, in terms of anything. They are mean, mean people who are selfish. And you may have spent your time mourning, but I'm saying to you today that God will replace them. God will cut the cord that joined you to them. It is being cut now in the name of Jesus. God is cutting that cord. And those people just like the Egyptians, you will never see them again in your life. Just as he did to Egyptians who are following the Israelites, you will never see them again in the name of Jesus. You will never cry again because of the mistreatment of the people of the world. God will wipe away your tears in the name of Jesus. It doesn't matter how many problems you had last year. I'm saying it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Yeah? What matters is that all the problems that were following you last year, they are falling now in the name of Jesus. God is cutting the cord that joined you to those problems. You will never see them again. Start building your faith. Start building your faith in Jesus. Believe what I'm saying because I have a testimony of what God can do. I cannot be talking to you if I wasn't sure of what I was saying. I'm very sure of what I'm saying because it happens to me every year, every end of the year, every end of the year. All the things that torture me, I leave them behind and I move on to a new year. People ask me, where do you get strength to move on? Sometimes I get very sick and I lose hope of seeing the new year. But when I take the word of God the way it is, and I believe in it and I pray God, I get to see a new year, I get new strength, and that is why I'm here today. So start building your faith and believe in God. Believe what I'm saying, that all what is not possible with the man is possible with the God. And that God will cut the cord, yeah, that joined you to those problems, that joined you to those evil people who tortured you last year, that joined you to diseases, yeah? All what has been torturing you is disappearing in the name of Jesus. You'll never see those people again. You'll never see those things again. You'll never experience those painful circumstances again. 
in the name of Jesus. Believe in me, my brother, my sister. God is cutting the cord, and I keep on saying that because there is something that joins you to evil. But if you believe in God, he is able to cut that cord and set you free in Jesus' name. So in Isaiah 43, verse 19, Isaiah 43, verse 19 says, Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it springs forth. Shall he not know? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. That is the word of God that he's saying that. That God is going to do a new thing. God is doing a new thing. He is going to make a way where there is no way. He is going to make rivers or create rivers in the desert. All right? And he will open doors that have been closed by the devil for all this time. God. So, people are crying today. They have gone down. The economy has gone down because of corona. But God is greater. God is greater than even that economy. He can revive it. Yeah? And it can start growing in the name of Jesus. And it will. It will. We are not going to remain down forever. We are going to rise up. And we are going to start growing. We are going to start uh, being productive. Yeah? And God is going to deal with corona. God will put corona back to where it came from because he's God. God is going to remove all these problems. The world will come back to life again in Jesus' mighty name. So, my viewer, another thing I want to tell you, because I said today is a message of hope that says it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Nothing matters. What matters is that God is here with us. Yeah? Because, as I said, we were celebrating the other day the birth of Jesus Christ, who is Emmanuel, and Emmanuel is God with us. So what matters is that God is with us, and where God is, everything goes on well. So we are saying this, that God's plans are not altered by people, things, or circumstances. What God has said will happen to you. It will happen. What he says is going to do for you, he is going to do it for you. Yeah, because as we said, God does not lie. And to prove this, I take you to Jeremiah 29, verse 11. I take you to Jeremiah 29, verse 11. And he says, For I know the thought that I think towards you, said the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end or to prosper you. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter who has evil thoughts for you. I know that no one is loved by everybody in this world. If Jesus, the Son of God, was not loved by everybody, who are you to be loved by everybody? Yeah? But it doesn't matter who hates you. It doesn't matter who has evil plans to distract, to distort your life, even to kill you. It doesn't matter who is planning to kill you. The Lord is saying today that he has good thoughts about you. 
And the thoughts he has is to give you peace, thoughts of peace, thoughts of good to prosper you, to give you the end that you expect, good end, yes. So if that is what the Lord is saying, you are saying then, the plans of God cannot be altered by sickness, the plans of God cannot be altered by people, the plans of God cannot be altered by circumstances that you are in. What he says he'll do, he's still going to do. He's going to give you peaceful life. He's going to give you good life. He's going to bless you. He's going to prosper you this year in the name of Jesus. So, it doesn't matter my friend, I tell you again, it doesn't matter who is planning to harm you. It doesn't matter who is planning to destroy you. It doesn't matter who is planning, planning to, dis, to disrupt your peace. It doesn't matter. God will never think evil about you. God thinks about peace. He wants to do great things in your life. And that is why I told you to start building your faith. Build your faith. And by the time we are adding this session, God will have done great things in your heart. In your heart. And you'll never forget this message in the name of Jesus. God wants to prosper you. Take that. And start confessing, God wants to prosper me in the name of Jesus. All that matters is what God thinks about you. Okay? It doesn't matter what other people think. Don't even worry about people who are planning to kill you. I've said, there are people who are taking away their lives. Because they are saying, if I have to die, let me die like a man. Because they know there is somebody else who is planning to kill them. So they plan to take their lives before. Don't take your life. Don't take your life because God will rescue you. No one will take away your life. God will rescue you. Yes. Because all that matters is what God thinks about you. All that matters is what God wants to do for you. All right? Forget about those who have threatened to kill you. Forget about them. Because God will rescue you. And let me tell you, my dear. Those people may have dug holes for you so that you can come and fall in the holes. Those people may have laid traps for you so that they can trap you. Those people may have prepared very bad plan for you. But I'm telling you today, the people who have dug holes for you will fall in those holes. Yeah, you read Psalms and see what uh, David was saying. Hmm? And there were people who are planning to destroy his life, even digging holes for him, even laying traps for him. What did he say? All right? What did he say? The way for these people was going to be slippery for them. It was going to be very slippery, and they were not going to catch up with him. Because every time they planned running after him, the way was going to be slippery for them. So I'm telling you today, they may have run, they will fall into those holes. They may have laid traps. They will be caught up in those traps. Whatever they try to do to you, they may have formed weapons against you. Those weapons will go back to them. In the name of Jesus, just build up your faith in God and take his word for what he says. Because God never lies. 
And I've said, he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. We saw him rescue his people. Even those who are put in the den of lions, we saw them being rescued. Those who are put in fire, we saw them being rescued. Those who are put in prison, we saw them being rescued. Oh my God, what am I going to do? Just be with and start confessing these things. First Corinthians 2 verse 9. First Corinthians 2 verse 9 says, But as it is written, I have not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. My brother, my sister, that is why I'm telling you not even to think of taking away your life. Not even to think of, of giving up. Don't give up. Don't give up. Imagine the Bible is telling us very clearly, no eye has seen what God has kept for us in store. No ear has heard, and even no heart has known what God has for us in the store. What God has for you, my viewer, in the store. And imagine what? He's going to give you all these things in your lifetime. You know what? We need those things down here. Because when we go to heaven, Jesus Christ will fill our hearts, will fill our lives. We will never suffer want in heaven. We will never be hungry. We will never be thirsty. We will never cry in heaven. Because the things that make us cry down here will not be there in heaven. So, all what God has for you in store, you are going to receive in your lifetime, in the name of Jesus. Start building your faith. You are going to receive all these things. No eye has seen. No one has seen. No one has heard. And no one has known what God has for you in store. Can you begin claiming these things in the name of Jesus? Can you start claiming what is yours in the name of Jesus? I'll tell you, my viewer, one problem that we have is that when other people are blessed, we start being jealous. We start hating those people because of the blessings that God has given them. If you feel bad for other people's blessings, then you will never receive what is yours. Hmm? If you feel bad because somebody has a car, how can God give you a car? If you feel bad because somebody has a good house, how can God give you a good house? Stop thinking about what other people have and concentrate on claiming what is yours. That God has a lot in store for you and for me. No eye has seen, no ear has heard, no one has ever even known or conceived it in the heart of what God has for us in store. And I was saying this, the reason why many people don't receive those things in the store and they will remain there and you will continue suffering because instead of seeking the face of God, instead of believing the word of God and concentrating on claiming what is yours, you concentrate on what other people have received. So you start looking at them badly because of the good houses they have, because of the cars they have, because of the good children they have, because of the good husbands they have. You concentrate on thinking evil about what God has given other people. And when you do that, then God will see that you do not deserve. You do not deserve 
What do those people have? But if you are happy for the blessings that God has given to other people, and if you concentrate on seeking the face of God, doing what is right and claiming what is yours, God is faithful and God is going to give you all these things in the store. God is going to give you in your lifetime. Yes, you will never leave this world before you receive what God has kept for you. Can you start claiming that in the name of Jesus? And we are saying that it is good that you change your life. If you have not known the Lord as your personal Savior this year, make it your year. Because it will enable you by accepting the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. It will enable you to read the Word of God and know all what God has kept for you. Because all those things are listed in the Word of God. All those things are listed. But if you don't read the word of God, how will you ever know what things are listed, what things you are entitled to? So make it your ear. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. Start reading the word of God to know all what you are entitled. And start serving God in season and out of season so that the Lord can be merciful to you. God will be merciful to you. Know God and know his power. Because why people don't believe in what God says is because they have not experienced the power of God. They say they know God, but they do not know the power of God. Yeah, know God and know his power so that you can be able to confess what I'm telling you today, that with God, all things are possible. So, uh, it is my prayer that the Lord will be with you this year, that the Lord will protect you this year, that the Lord will meet with all your needs and supply to them according to his riches in glory, Riches of glory in Christ Jesus. You can find that in Philippians 4.19. That the Lord may uplift you. That the Lord may extend your boundaries this year. That the Lord may be with you now and always in Jesus' mighty name. Uh, before I had this session, I would like to bring to your notice that our uh, session we shall be on air every Tuesday from 9 to 11 a.m. live. So if you would like to be interacting with us, make sure to tune in. Every Thursday, I will be in the office dealing with you one-on-one. -on -one. So if you have any issue in your life and you would like us to pray together, you would like any counseling, I've told you we are a team of counselors. We work together and if I cannot handle anything, I can always refer you to another counselor. So if you would like to see me one-on-one, -on -one, I'll be in the office from uh, morning all the way every Thursday and then if you uh, want to support this program there are normally numbers on the screen you can support this program and by the grace of God you will be planting and you will reap when the right time comes and if you want to have a program with us you can also contact us using the same numbers on the screen. And if you want to make adverts or anything, we are here for you. We are here for you and we shall serve you to the best of our knowledge. So till next time, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.